All right, so another video. In this one, we are going to get uh, some third-party repositories set up, and we are going to install um, NTFS support. Um, if I do a yum search NTFS right now, it's going to show me that I've just got uh, these two packages that I could possibly install, right? Now, um, CentOS is an enterprise Linux operating system, and so what that means is, is it doesn't give you access to uh, an insane amount of packages like um, Ubuntu does. It's really meant for servers, so on a server you're probably not going to be uh, watching flash videos or doing anything like that, so it's a very limited amount of repository or uh, packages you have access to, and um, you know they're, they're, they're for the most part or I think pretty much entirely uh, tested extensively, and you know it, they make sure that you know they they, they work well. Um, if you ever look at uh, Red Hat's Bugzilla, it's you know a lot of people working on this stuff. So, um, well, we want to get uh, uh, some third-party repository set up so we have access to more packages. So, just follow these steps. Um, <sighs> Packages.atrpms.net slash rpm dash gpg dash key dot at rpms. Okay, so first I'm going to import some gpg keys, okay, and that's just for basically security purposes. Um, this is a good thing to do so yeah and you know again just getting the environment set up so you know all of this will be explained later especially you know when we cover yum um, rpms rpm hell you know all that stuff so this will all be explained but for now it's good to just um you know follow along get it set up uh, and whatnot. So, okay. So, boom. I've Im imported the three keys. Now, now I need to uh, download those files I just deleted. So, I deleted them because you know, I'm just going to download them again. HTTP slash slash dl dot at rpms dot net forward slash all forward slash at rpms. Uh, dash repo dash six uh, dash five dot el six dot x86 underscore disk four dot rpm. Okay, little note here. You name dash r. If this says x86 underscore 64, you are running a 64 bit version. If this says i386 or i686, I'm not too sure which one it's going to say. I haven't run a 32 bit um, version in years, but if it says either one of those, you are running a 32-bit version. So, if you are running a 32-bit version, here you want to say i686 instead of x86-64. Download that one. I'm going to just delete it because I'm running 64-bit. So, okay. So, RPM, uh, oh, I'll just get all the packages first. So, wget uh, http slash slash dl dot fedora project dot org slash pub slash apple slash six slash x86 underscore 64. That would be i386 if you are in a 32 bit version dash release dash six dash seven dot noarc dot rpm. Okay, downloaded that one you get http slash slash packages dot sw dot be slash rpm forge dash release slash rpm forge dash release dash zero zero point five point two dash two dot el six dot rf dot x a six underscore sixty four i six eighty six if you're thirty two bit dot rpm okay so let's download these things okay now rpm dash ivh rpm forge 
you can just hit RPMF, hit tab, it'll auto complete for you. RPM dash IVH Apple. RPM dash IVH uh, RPMs. Okay. So we just installed those. Okay. Now yum install yum dash plugin dash priorities. Okay. So install that. I've already got it installed. So it's just going to tell me that, but uh, you don't. It's going to ask you if you want to. Hit yes. Eh, I should just start doing the tick Y so that, uh, you know, that just answers yes for you. Anyway, so that's installed now. So cd to etsy yum dot repos dot d. You can hit tab. Okay. Now, let's nano some files in here. Uh, nano sent os dash base. Okay. You're not going to have this. It doesn't say this for you. But I want you to type that in. Put that there. Priority equals 1 under base. Priority equals 1 under updates. Priority equals 5 under extras. Priority equals 5 under CentOS Plus. Priority equals 5 under Contrib. Okay. Hit Control X. Say yes, you want to save. And hit Enter. Okay. Now, nano rpm forge.repo. Uh, it says enabled 1, enabled 0, priority equals 10, priority equals 10, priority equals 10. You may be like, okay, why are you setting a priority for, for ones that are not enabled? I always do that just in case they get enabled. I, I like to do that. So, uh, nano apple dot repo. Okay, and enabled, change that to zero, and we're going to say priority equals 20, priority equals 20, and priority equals 20, control X, yes, enter, uh, nano at RPM, oops, at RPM.repo, enabled, no, enabled equals zero. Priority equals 30. Priority equals 30. Priority equals 30. Control X, yes, enter. Okay. So now I've got some third party repositories set up. Remember earlier I did a yum uh, search for NTFS and it came up with uh, just two files? Now yum dash enable. Enable repo RPM forge search NTFS. Now it comes up with a lot of stuff. And we are going to install this one because someone asked me a question about this. This will give us support for NTFS drives, Windows drives, right? So yum dash y install. Ah, yum dash dash enable repo RPM forge dash y install views tick ntfs tick 3g so that's going to install that okay right cool so now i have ntfs support right now let's say i want to mount um or i want to access my ntfs drive right so make directory slash mount slash win okay that's uh that's where i'm going to mount it to okay and then i would do mount okay f disk space dash l is going to show you the drives you have up here and the types so grab your ntfs drive it's going to i don't have one it's going to say ntfs here let's just say slash dev slash sda3 is ntfs for me right so what i would do is i would say mount slash dev slash sda3 dash t um, oh, ntfs dash 3g and slash mount slash what did I call oh yeah win mount slash win okay so and then I would hit enter I don't have a drive so I can't do that now let's say I want it to mount 
every time I boot into the system, I want it to be there because that change is not persistent, okay, right? So I would then nano slash Etsy slash FS tab, enter, okay? And I'll explain this file in some very great detail, such as what these do over here, what does defaults mean, and so on and so forth. But right now we just want to add the drive. So I said mine was, say, dev slash SDA3, right? And I want to mount it on slash mount slash win. And it is NTFS dash um, 3G, right? And let me see, RW UMask equals 0, 0, 0, 0, and defaults, okay? Oops, defaults, 0, space, 0. Make sure these two are 0, okay? Don't uh, just, you know, make sure there's no typos there. So those two uh, need to be 0. And control X and say yes, and then hit enter, okay? So now when you boot your system up, you don't have to type mount every time you want to access it. It's just going to automatically mount it on boot. I'm going to delete that line because actually since I'm going to delete that line because I don't have that drive. Okay, now, so we want to let's say we want to um, save our KVM images onto our NTFS drive, right? The first thing we're going to do is we are going to set, actually I can't remember the boolean, it's like, yeah, um, we're going to set something, okay? And I just got to find this, so give me a second. Okay, yeah, it's vert use FS. So set se bool dash p that makes it persistent that means after it reboot after you reboot the system that'll stay on uh, vert use fs on i already set this just a minute ago but I'm doing it again and it takes a minute and but it should be good okay Now, did I actually make this directory slash mount slash win? Yeah, I already did. Okay, so now make a directory called like slash mount slash win, and this is the, it, it must be mounted. So type in mount and slash mount slash win must be mounted, okay? And make a directory, and if you do ls slash mount slash win, you're going to see basically like your Windows drive, whatever's in there, Windows, folder, um, uh, system, I, I mean, I don't know, I can't remember what folders are on a Windows drive, but that's what you'll see, okay? So uh, make a directory called like slash mount slash win slash kvm slash, or yeah, slash kvm slash images, right? And use the dash p flag. Okay, so You've got that now. If you followed the earlier videos, you may have a slash home slash QMU slash images like I do, or you have uh, slash, if you don't have that, you have lib, libvert images, and you may have some files in there, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna move those files out. I wonder if that will actually mess things up. Hmm, I almost want to test this. See, I'm, I'm, I'm setting this up. I uh, uh, haven't tested this yet, but okay, it's slash, you know, so so move home QMU images, or actually just bare lib libvert images to slash mount slash win slash KVM slash images, okay? So move, um, oh, slash star. So move all the files to your new uh, directory on your NTFS drive. Hit enter. So that's going to move the files over, right? The next thing you want to do is do chicon dash dash reference slash var slash lib slash libvert slash images 
to slash mount slash win slash kvm slash images. Okay? And then do an ls dash lzd slash mount slash win slash kvm slash images. And it should say system u object r vert image t. Okay? That's what's important image T. And that really should be it. Um, to whoever tests, it, uh, tests this, because I don't have an, the ability to really test this, to uh, whomever tests this, uh, please uh, please let me know if that works. If not, we'll, we'll figure it out, because I know, it's a, I know it's a possibility. I mean, it's even an option for libvert. So, yeah, so let me know. And that's how you get NTFS support and the other RPMs and stuff. So, And I will see you guys next week for the next set of videos.